Hey, you mind if I sit down? How's it going? You mind if I have some water? What's up? And just like that, you or me let a killer sit down at our table. It says the, the shepherd prepares a table before you, before you, not before you and for him, before you in the presence of your enemies. And before you know it, he, he's at your table and he's eating your food. And he starts talking to you. Oh, yeah, he talks with food in his mouth. And he says, Let me pour you something to drink. And then he starts talking. He said, Well, Louis, how would I know if he was at my table? Well, he primarily says things in three groups. Group number one, here's what he's going to say to you Hey, listen. You're never going to make it through this. I mean, look around. No chance. If you've ever heard or you're hearing right now, you're not going to make it. It's not going to change. It's not going to be different. It will ne you'll never have freedom. Don't get your hopes up again. I don't care if it's night seven or night 77. Don't buy into it again. It's not going to change. You're not going to survive it, and you're not going to make it through this, frankly. If you hear that, you know you've given the devil a seat at your table. The second major group of things he says, second major group of things, so you know how would I know if he's at my table or not? Second major group of things, you aren't good enough. You've never been good enough. You're not strong enough. You don't deserve this. You're not worthy of this. You're an insignificant person, and you don't matter in life, honestly. And as soon as you hear that, you know you've given him a seat at your table. If you've heard today or are hearing right now, you're not good enough. The enemy is sitting at your table. A third group of things that he, you know, I'm, I'm just giving you groups. You can put your own little phrases in there. That the third major area of things he's saying to you and me at the table, he's saying, everybody is against you. Do I need to go on? You know, no one at work likes you. You know, all the people at your school, no, no one likes you. Everyone tolerates you. You know, everybody's out to get you. Everyone is out to get you. Did you notice when you came into work today that Larry didn't even look up from his laptop? He's out to get you. He hates you. No, come on. And then you hear that, and so you walk into work the next day, and, and, and sure enough, Larry doesn't even look up from his laptop. And you're like, oh my word, it's true. He does hate me. I think the whole that whole department hates me. They look at them all right now, hating me. They all hate me. And once he can convince us that everybody's against us, everybody's out to get us, the whole world's against us, nobody's for us, everybody's trying to get to us or take from us, as soon as he convinces us of that, we shift into an uber-defensive posture in life, and we start thinking things that aren't true about people, and we start projecting onto people the rejection that we think we're getting from people, and it might be, hello, newsflash, that Larry was just working on a spreadsheet. You're like, no, Louie, there, there really is someone at my workout to get me, and that could be true. They're, they're telling your supervisor things that aren't true. 
They're, they're jipping you and your opportunity by lying about you behind your back. They got the promotion because they told someone something that wasn't true. And if that's the case, that, that, that's not something that you just take lightly. You're going to watch God do his thing in your life, but you're not going to do it. You're not going to do it by getting in a war with that person and saying, well, I'm going to start telling some people some stuff about them so that they're going to get a little bit of their own medicine. That's not what you do when your shepherd prepares a table before you in the presence of your enemies. What do you do? What do you do then? Well, you sit down and you lock eyes with your shepherd and you say, thank you for providing for me everything I need mentally, spiritually, emotionally, and physically in the middle of the fight of whatever the fight is. Thank you. You have provided for me every single thing that I need. And you say to the enemy, here's the power, right? You say to the enemy, you don't have a seat at my table. In a very difficult place, um, a little bit of